Okay, so as I continued this project, I had some hard hard time getting behind the rear seats. Um, the passenger side was no problem. There's a little latch um, on the outside edge of the seat. You can just pull that and the top, the back folds down. Um, the driver's side was more tricky. I found a video also on YouTube, but it didn't really show clearly how this thing works. So I'll show you now. So that's the passenger side. And just on the other side of that seat, in this area, on that seat, there's a little pull tab uh, on that side. And that releases that. So basically, um, when you feel behind this seat, when it's up in place, you can feel there's a mechanism here, but it's not very easy to get to. And it's also tough to see or feel with your hands exactly how to release this latch. So this is the latch we're talking about. Um, and if this helps anybody, that's about where that bar sits. Um, it slides up and down based on how, how far the seat is when you're adjusting the seat as far as when you uh, fold up the bottom of the seat, the seat back goes up and down. So this has to be mobile, but that's where I found it when I just folded this down. So of course that bar gets caught into this groove here. When you push it back, it'll lock it in place, okay? And then it's secured. So basically what you have to do to get this thing off now, you have to reach back with your fingers on this side and pull that up, okay? And that's released. It's basically just like a uh, like a regular door latch uh, that would go onto here. Sa same basic concept. Um, it hits the pin, and then this locks into this groove down here to hold it in place. And then again, you just pull back on this. and that'll let you fold the seat down. So hopefully that'll help somebody else.